What's going on fam? It's your boy Mosey here, back with another episode of Mosey Reacts. On this episode of Mosey Reacts, I have episode 42 of One Piece. But before I get into today's episode, it's time for comment of the day. And uh, comment of the day comes from Lustin. And um, I chose their comment because I get to be a little braggadocious and I get to reveal like a Easter egg I've been doing in my uh, reactions. Some of you may have picked up on it already, some of you may have not. Um, but what Lustin said was, it's cool how you use the volume covers to let us know where we're at in the story. And what they're referring to is that like in the beginning of my uh, reactions, I'm always like on today's episode, I have episode blah, 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 blah. And then an image will pop up. Well, that's not just a random image that I'm choosing. Um, what it is, is it's the manga cover for whatever volume we're in, in the series. So like, for example, um, if you go back 30 seconds, you'll notice that that uh, image is completely different from yesterday's image. And that's because we've switched manga or switched volumes in the manga. We went from uh, volume eight to volume nine, I believe, or volume seven to eight. I can't remember which, but that's basically what those images are, is it's depending on where we're at in the series and whatever, um, whatever volume the show decided to reference that's the cover i'm using and that's like my easter egg for my reactions and i just thought that was you know something a little uh fun to add to my videos um so i greatly appreciate you noticing Lestin. um if you guys want a chance to be coming today feel free to drop a comment down below and then uh speaking of comments um it's been brought up in the past couple of videos about fillers and if i'm gonna be reacting to those um i planned on it um I didn't plan on skipping any episodes. I just plan on watching them as I go in order, um, unless you guys said otherwise. If there are certain fillers that you guys would be, rather me not react to because they aren't good fillers, like like me personally, I know I would love for everyone, I would love to watch people react to Naruto, but the Mecha Naruto filler, no. I don't wanna watch anyone's reaction to that because it's I don't even wanna watch that filler. So I get that sentiment of I don't want him to watch certain fillers but I do know that there are people that would enjoy that so I'm leaving it completely up to you guys on if you want me to watch the fillers or not um, it doesn't matter to me I I'm gonna watch them regardless it's just are you guys gonna be watching them with me um, the only thing that I do have a question on about my uh, watch order is movies um, cause I know like in Naruto, if you watch the Naruto movies, um, there is like a recommended order in which to watch the Naruto and when to watch them in the series, because like certain Naruto movies, the plot in that movie will conflict with what's actually happening in the regular series. So I don't know if that's like with one piece or if one piece movies are completely tangent or is that the right word? Tangent, distangent from the uh actual one piece anime i'm curious but i would love to watch the movies alongside the anime and if i just to watch them in certain places if there's someone that could drop the list a link or something to let me know when i should watch them i greatly appreciate that um and then just a daily reminder before i get into today's video that this is not a market substitute you should always support the official release <laughs> Although they evolved, they haven't created them or did you guys evolve? Does he have bones? Like you guys told me that like he was like rubber and everything, so like does he have bones? Like can he break a bone? <laughs> Big facts. Then what was your fucking point? <laughs> no. 
Can he use swords or is he just swinging them? Okay. Right? That, that shouldn't hurt him, right? If he's like a, an actual shark, right? You're supposed to hit a shark in the nose, right? Or head, I guess. Really? <笑><笑><笑> What the fuck are you talking about? Luffy has ton of pride. Appreciate that. Like, for real, Luffy is like the embodiment of pride. Well, I guess that does make sense. He is a shark. But like, why has he why isn't he constantly always doing that then? <laughs> Wait, you can't even see that, Sanji. You're on the other side of the wall. <laughs> How did you not notice, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> Can he use his teeth against him since they're so strong now, right? Maybe that will help. Kick was his special move. Oh my god, I'm so mad I didn't say it. I thought it, and oh, I'm so upset I didn't say it. <laughs> I'm probably the whole fight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so his teeth can hurt him. That's why I was confused. Like, if he can just take them out and make them stronger, why isn't he constantly doing that? Look, he's pl he gave him the people's elbow. Mm. 
Like, can he just be down for like 30 seconds? Look up. Is he trying to bait us into the water? Okay, I just won't come in the water. Well, it's about time he used an actual fucking attack. I was wondering. Oh, what? It was him? Bro, you are so fucking weak. I'm sorry. So since he went in the water, like, now that he's out of the water, his is his power still doubled? Or is it only as long as he's in the water? So I'm assuming since he went back in the water, it has like a certain like recharge rate where it buffs him up for so long and then he has to go back in the water to recharge it. <laughs> Bro, we're not! You're the one that's going into the fucking water! Hey, look at you. That's gonna leave a mark, or at least it better. Oh, Jesus Christ. He had nothing to do with it, but god damn. <laughs> That's not gonna hurt us though, right? We can take blunt hits, so I'm not worried about that. I really hope I, like Arlo doesn't even realize how much damage he's doing to his own fucking park. Her room or is it his room? Oh, the eyes are fucking creepy. It's oh, it's not Nami's room for sure. 
あの女にカイツを書かせ続けるためのこれは全部ナミが書いたカイツだぜ Damn, how big is a fucking ocean, Nami? Big facts. Alrighty, well, that was it for episode 42 of One Piece, and Arlong's hate on the humans is on another level right now. Like, last episode, it was annoying, but this episode, it really got to me. It's really getting to me. Like, he hasn't done anything to back it up yet. Like, he keeps saying, like, how awesome fishmen are, but, like, he, he, he doesn't even have any powers. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he has strong punches. Cool. What else you got, my guy? Like, don't get me wrong. Rock Lee is my favorite Naruto character, but I'm realistic, and I know that Rock Lee is not a strong overall character because unless he is physically close to someone, he can't do anything. So, like, if... People will stay away from him and do mid distance and long distance attack. The only thing Rock Lee can do is try to close the distance before he can actually do something. And that's how I'm in the same thing with Arlong is that, like, you know, like he he went into the water and was just like, ha ha, I'm in the water now. I'm going to be double the speed. It's like, cool, but we're not in the water. So what the fuck did you go as fast as you want, my guy? quadruple your speed i'm still not getting in the water so your speed doesn't do anything you're not getting double the speed outside of the water so i'm confused on why like his is we're so superior i like don't get me wrong they're obviously bigger than us they're stronger than us when they're on land that part is true but unless you're close and are able to actually punch us your superiorness is non-relevant to me i don't see it i you're not gonna beat me like i'm doing an over exaggeration but like same exact fight he goes to do this the um i can't remember the tooth dart or whatever the speed dart or whatever let's say luffy wasn't right there next to the edge of the water what if luffy was like oh he went into the water oh okay and then just decided to walk away like 50 yards what would our long have to do then would he like come out of the water like oh damn you're too far man can you come over here so I can actually get within striking distance of you? So that's why I'm like, I don't get his, fuck it. I'm just going to let it go. Hopefully I get more explanation. But um, other than that, um, I'm ready for Luffy to just whoop his ass at this point. He just needs to do it at this point. Especially now you just called Nami your friend. Like, get the... F <sighs> Anyways, it's been real. It's been fun. It hasn't been real fun, but it's it's been real later on.